Hello and welcome to CGTN's special coverage of the 2023 Spring Festival. I'm Elaine from CGTN and we are now coming to you live from Eastern Beijing's Langyuan Cultural Park. So today is February the 4th. It is Li Chun or the beginning of spring. So it is usually the first of the 24 solar terms in the Chinese lunar calendar. And today I'm actually at a very interesting place. We're going to see a lot of customs, traditional customs related to this special day. And usually Li Chun marks the beginning of the spring. So it, it will start to see the warmer weather and the growing season. And today I'm also joined by a special guest. Let's welcome Mrs. Yang Mingxia. Welcome. She's an expert on China's folk culture and intangible cultural heritage. Yang So Mrs. Yang just say happy spring. And today me and Mrs. Yang are going to take you to explore some of the interesting events held in here. And a lot of them are a lot of traditional customs related to the Li Chun Festival. So actually just give you a little bit heads up. So today's Li Chun, this year's Li Chun actually starts from 10.42 a.m. Beijing time. That's according to the uh, Omanic of the Chinese lunar calendar and actually it differs from every year. So now we still have a few more minutes here. So we are going to take you to first introduce one of you the interesting traditions about Li Chun. And I guess you can see there is an ox here. So what is this tradition about? Let's ask Mrs. Yang Mingxia. Okay, so this is actually it's called a spring ox. And it is usually a ceremony held especially in rural areas. People, it started from Han Dynasty, so people will usually take a real cattle out of out of them, and they will usually it marks the beginning of the spring because it tells him, buddy, wake up, it's time for spring plowing. And Yang Lao, you can continue with us. This cow has what kind of special features? Is it special? This cow is special. It 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 is special. So, 三点六五尺是什么意思? Oh, so that means 3.65, that means 365 days, so that is a whole year. 还有什么讲究? 还有这个牛的这个尾巴,有一个尾巴, 尾巴呢是长要一尺二寸. Oh, so the tail of the ox is usually 1.2 Chinese foot. So, 一点二尺是什么意思? 一尺二寸是什么意思呢? 是代表 Oh, so that represents 12 months of the whole year. Uh, as you can see, uh, the spring ox have four feet, so that represents four seasons. Uh, uh, oh, so this is a willow branch, and we will just use this to whip the spring ox. Oh, so the length of this willow branch is usually 2.4 Chinese feet. 那二十四寸是什么意思? Oh, and that represents uh, the 24 solar terms on Chinese lunar calendar. So there is a lot of interesting meanings behind of uh, these criteria actually. Uh, 
呃，这个呢是咱们中国这个农耕文明的一个最好的一个体现，因为咱们是以农立国。虽然咱们现在是已经进入工商文明，但是呢，这个一年之计之以那个就是一年之计在于春。嗯。呃，春天呢是一个代表一个希望的一个季节，然后没有春天的这个春种，就没就不会有这个夏这个夏长秋收冬藏，所以春天呢是一切基础的根本。I see. So actually, this represents a very important culture of the agricultural society. So actually, we all know that oxen play a very important role, and they are great helpers for farmers. So during this time, it was time to just encourage the farmers to start the spring plowing, and they would just start to do the farming land. And it was a lot of tradition related to the whip of the ox. 那您跟我们说说，呃。编牛就是打春牛这个习俗，好像有很多的这个不同的讲究，说打头、打身体、打尾巴，是不是？您和我们介绍一下好不好？嗯、呃，打春牛呢，它一共是十鞭，啊、嗯呃，然后这十鞭呢是什么呢？是这个先从头开始打，嗯，呃、这个咱就说做一下吧。可以，没问题。啊、so there are total ten whips of the spring ox. The first is to whip the head of the ox. 您跟我们说说打头什么意思？呃，打头呢是什么呢？是一打风调雨顺。哇哦。So the first whip means to pray for a good weather for the crops, a good weather for the crops. 风调雨顺。对。Okay. 呃，第二呢，要要打他的那个那个那个，这个蹄子。哦。四个蹄子。So the second whip is to whip its feet. 是什么呢？二打地肥土宣。Oh, they, they, are, okay, they pray for a fertile soil, soil here. 嗯，还有呢？呃，这个从从第三边开始，就从身上开始了、oh, 啊，就是那个三到十边都是在身上，呃，都在身上， okay. 然后那个肚子，然后然后那个那个尾巴那块儿尾部。Okay.、啊、so the following whips is all on the body of the ox. 那它代表的是不是国泰民安的那一些意思？啊，对，像那个如果是第三边代表什么是是呃三星高照。Wow. 啊，第四边呢？呃、四边是四季平安。OK。呃，第五遍就是了，五谷丰登了。那总体上其实都是来一些好的愿望，是吧？呃，一好的愿望就是最后什么是国泰民安，天下太平。Oh, okay, I see. So actually, the following whips are all about they pray for a good health, good fortune, and also they pray for the peace and prosperity of the country and its people. 很有意思，所以有很多的不同的一些学问。其实我们也看到，我们一会儿可能十点半就要开始了那个表演。然后您和我们说说，呃，立春在中国人心中为什么那么重要 ？So I'm going to ask Mrs. Yang, what is the significance of 立春 to Chinese people? 呃，立春这个节气啊，是嗯，对于中国人来说，虽然咱们已经从这个这个农业文明进入了这个工商文明，但是呢，这个立春呢，它的那个第一呢，首先是咱们二十四节气第一个节气，同时呢，又是春天的第一个节气，所以说那个它是什么呢？而且在古代的时候呢，它是那个咱们这个呃立春节，就是咱们的现在春节，就是那个就是那个是这个立春这个日子。So actually, uh, the spring, Li Chun, or the start of spring, is the first solar term of the 24 Chinese solar term, and actually, it just means the start of the spring. So that makes its importance here. 还有什么原因吗？那大家通常会在这个节日传递一种什么样的心愿呢？呃，就是希望什么呢？希望这个咱们在这个这个立春这一天，呃，为什么叫打春牛？就是这个意思嘛。就是在立春那天呢，呃，就是一个什么叫劝客农桑。哦，啊，就是，就是什么呢？就是要要呃，劝这个，就是利用这个仪式感，让人们住，然后什么呢？开始什么呢？春播生产了，啊，因为咱们这一年这块春播太重要了。Mm -hmm. So actually, spring plowing is really important. It's like a kind of a top priority for all the farmers. So they will use such kind of ceremony to remind all the farmers, all right, it's time to, to, to do the spring plowing and it's time to、uh, like pray for a good harvest for the whole year. 特别好，嗯，那其实我们看看关于这个立春这方面还有什么有趣的习俗，您可以给我们介绍一下，因为我们这会儿还有一些时间，对。呃，立春呢还有的习俗，就是现咱们现在有的吗？还是以前的？现在或者以前都可以、啊、传承下来的。呃，以前呢，就是首先是那个从皇帝这块比较重视，嗯，呃，是什么呢？皇帝要在立春的前四天进行斋戒。啊，就是进行这个这个要知道哈，这个这种吃斋，然后然后物物欲，呃，然后呢，在立春的前一天，就等于是昨天，他需要什么呢？需要带着文武百官去出城去迎春。哦、oh, 
Actually, uh, during the ancient time, there was specific ceremony, and the emperor will take all the officials outside the, 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 the palace, and they were just to announce the calm of spring, to embrace the calm of spring. So it is kind of a ceremony. Okay,那这一天会有什么特别的吃的上面的要求吗?呃,像民间老百姓肯定是民以食为天嘛,所以说那个为什么对立春重视,就跟这有关系。呃,这天呢要什么呢?要吃,吃那个春饼。啊,然
So now she's actually welcoming all the audiences coming to this bazaar. So we also received some uh, comments from our YouTube followers. So what's on the schedule for today? So mainly we will have to explore some of the customs of uh, this special day. And one is called uh, the beat, uh, Whip the Rainox. And the second, we're going to ins go inside of this bazaar and we're going to experience some of the food and also some special decorations inside the bazaar. So that is mainly the schedule of this live streaming. Oh, so you can see our guest, Mrs. Yang, are going to share her thoughts with all the audiences about the significance of Li Chun. First of all, happy spring! Just as what Yang said during our live streaming, actually this is a tradition starting from the uh, starting from Han Dynasty. So it was used to like say goodbye to winter, and people are going to uh, embrace the come of spring. So the first custom is called Whip the Spray Nox. It was a kind of a tradition, a folk tradition, especially held in rural areas. And they wanted to uh, encourage all the farmers, already it's time to do the spring plowing. Okay, now the ceremony is just about to begin and people are going to whip the spray Nox. Yeah, as we just said, there will be 10 whips of this spray ox, and everyone will have a, a willow branch on their hand. So they will also say auspicious words before. <laughs> wow, a lot of people are taking the willow branch. They all wanted to whip the spray ox to have some auspicious meaning. <laughs> All right, so there will be in total 10 whip words. Okay, you can see there are a lot of cute babies here. Oh, we just start. We pray for the good weather for the crops. Well, all right, we now finished the 10 whips of the spring ox. It was really interesting. So they say a lot of auspicious words before each whip, but mainly they are praying for a good harvest for this year and peace in the pros prosperity of the country and its people. And as you can just see, there are a lot of people gathering around here, and some of them are wearing a Han Fu. Actually, uh, 你好, 我来简单采访一下你吧。
I can say speaking English. Yeah. First, great. So why do you came to this festival, and what do you want to share with us about your feelings on Li Chun? Yeah, because today is then the first of、uh, the solar term, so I think it's very、uh, it's very traditional day, and I really want to experience some Chinese culture here. Great. So I also noticed you are wearing Hanfu, right?、Mm-hmm. Are you a Hanfu enthusiast, and why are you so in love with it? Yeah, I just feel it's very pretty, and we don't have much chance to、uh, wear this、uh, in our daily life. And so I choose this particular day to wear this. Great. Thank you so much. Enjoy the bazaar. All right. So we are also going to explore some of the other people. Let's see. 你好，哎，我们是央视的那个记者啊，在直播、哦。对，然后我们看到今天你也穿得特别漂亮，来参加这个活动。您和我们分享一下这个活动，您的感受以及对立春的喜爱吧。呃，首先，立春是一个中国的一个古老的一个节气，也是中国人最喜庆的一个日子。然后这个活动呢，我们也是一直呃在跟着一直在活动。上一次我们也来了，然后主办方呃也非常组织的也非常好，所以呢，呃，我觉得我还能。最主要是我们能来到这里，和更多的这些艺术家、oh. 啊、美学家能够一起共同探讨，一起共同学习。您是您是艺术家是吗？是我不是小艺人。对对对，我是来那个来参加这个市集活动的，就算是手艺人。Oh, actually, she is your artisan. Oh, so what do you specifically? 我做这个是我的业余爱好。哦、oh, ，你特别做什么？是。Uh, 咱俩是同行，我是做媒体的。So I met my colleague here. She's also a, a media person. Okay, so、uh, she just said like this because this is the first of the 24 solar terms, and she's so happy to see all these different people from various walks of life gathering here. She appreciates the art, the tradition during this special day. 非常谢谢您，谢谢谢谢。Okay. So as you can see, there are also some lanterns hanging up here. So that is because tomorrow is actually China's Lantern Festival, and、uh, there are also a lot of, you know, special activities held up around. And let's、uh, invite Mrs. Yang. You are back. And Yang 老师，您刚刚也看到了，大家刚刚都打完了春牛。您觉得大家打得好吗？能传达到这个意思吗？打得挺好的啊，是这个意思啊。嗯。那像接下来的话，其实我们还会有更多的活动。那其实像立春，每年都会有这么多的人一起来庆祝吗？呃，这个立春呀，在古代是一个全民狂欢的一个日子啊。为什么呢？大家伙儿所有的每个人都会跟这个春。会会有会会相关的，因为春就是个希望，所以每个人心情都非常好啊。经过一个冬天的那种那种那种很压抑的那种那种情绪，到了春天以后要释放出来。So in ancient times, you know, Li Chun is actually a carnival for people. They were because spring,、uh, spring just、uh, marks the beginning of a new season, a new life, a new year. So people also see it as a revival, as hope, and people really enjoy this day because they wanted to pray for a good harvest, a good fortune for this year. 特别好。那您今天也看到，其实有大朋友小朋友特别多。您觉得这些？就是以前的那些传统啊，好像也能够很好的被传承下来了，是不是？对，我觉得像这种活动，小孩参与是最好的，因为人们都知道这个这个这种的这种这种的打打春牛或者编春，那打的是什么呢？就是我们已经从这个这个从咱们的最早的这农耕文文明已经进入到这个这种的这种的工商文明，为什么还要去做这种这种活动？这个就是什么呢？就是说那个什么呢？就是说那个我们打的不是这个普通的一个牛，而是什么呢？而是我们那个继承了我们那个就是这个这个一一这个传统，还有对我们文化的尊重，对我们土地的尊重，还有对我们这个就是这个呃前辈，然后对我们这个先民这块儿这个这个这种这种这种尊重。Mm. Actually, today we actually can see a lot of parents taking their kids to this special event.、Uh, it's for Mrs. Yang. She just mentioned like it's not just a simple celebration or just to do some customs or tradition, but 
also a kind of to pass on uh, our thoughts, our theories, our you know traditions on these special events. And behind these events, there are a lot of you know it showcase Chinese people's uh, respect to our nature and respect to our culture. 特别好，我看现在 now it's 10:42, so two minutes later we are going to embrace the start of spring. 特别好，我们其实还有两分钟就要开始正式的迎春，是不是？那接下来会有什么样的特别的仪式吗？对于迎春的时候？呃，他们应该有一个那个，就是一个报春仪式啊，一个春官啊。其实春官呢，就是这个这个春神勾芒的他一个一个一个化身，啊。然后他呢来来过来是这个报春，然后大声说出来，到十点四十二分说春来了。Okay, so two minutes later, there will also be a spring announcer. So she is going to say, "Okay, now it's 10:42. Spring is here, and let's wait and see." So now I can see people are just、uh, clearing up the areas, and we also see there will also be some performances here. Yang 老师，这个之后是不是还会有一些特别的表演呀？呃，对，然后呢，是我们的那个，我们的那个就是，呃，演奏人员会弹那个古筝，然后弹那个跟春相关的曲子。哦。因为在过去古代呢，是什么呢？是要唱这个春歌的，叫春鸣这曲子。OK。嗯。So later there will be a performance. Uh, as you can see, there are special Chinese musical instruments here. 你好，这是几根弦呀？是不是？哦、oh, ，with twenty one strings。你好，您待会儿是要给我们表演一个什么曲目？和大家介绍一下。呃、uh, ，民飞曲。民飞曲。您呃，您客他。您说吧。呃、uh, ，表演的是《红杏枝头春意闹》。哦，女孩会有什么样的特别的含义呢？呃，欢迎春天的到来。对，欢迎春天。对。Okay, so they're not just a few minutes more minutes later. They are going to perform a special melody and is to welcome. Okay, so now the spring announcer has already said spring is here. Wow, this is really, really beautiful, and you can feel the peace of this melody. And actually, because Li Chun marks the warmer weather in a growing season, and with this melody, you can actually feel the ice and snow are beginning to thaw, and and the trees are going to be greener. So there is a the beautiful season is just about to come, and as you can see. The spring announcer just said, "The、uh, the spring's Li Chun Bazaar are just about to begin." Okay, Yang 老师，我们一起去进去看看。Let's start our tour inside. There are li- really a lot of people around here. Yang 老师，您看，我们现在是正式的开始这个迎春的集市了，是吧？对。Okay. 好，我们进去看一下。
而且今天那个带这个小孩的人特别多。Yeah. 对 ，we we also noticed that there are a lot of parents taking their kids to this event. Okay, so we're going to take you to a bit tour around here.、Um, we're going to go to the that areas first. Okay, let's get inside. There are very interesting stalls around here, as you can see. First of all, you can see the big lantern, because tomorrow is the Lantern Festival, and it actually represents a reunion. 特别好，杨老师，我们来看看今天这附近，这都是一些特别的文创产品，是吗？对。呃，都是那个，嗯、呃，咱们的一些这个跟跟非遗相关的传承人，他们做的一些那种， oh. 呃，又是继承了非遗的记忆，同时还有一些创新的东西。Oh, actually, many of them are the inheritor of the intangible cultural heritage. And as you can see, 您好，您跟跟我们简单介绍一下，这是什么吗？呃，这个是乳瓷。哦、oh, ，乳瓷。嗯，对对对。So clean and， 然后它有什么特别的含义吗？或者手工上的特别的制作？ Uh, 我们来看一下。Uh, 呃，这个呢，全部都是那个呃，铸呃，烧制的是吧？对对对。它其实就是一个喝茶用的。And this is used for tea, actually. 有有茶具，有茶具，有这种酒具。Oh, as you can see, this is usually for the wine, and this is it's usually for uh different tea. So actually, you can see there are also some rabbit size. Special art crafts. This is a cute rabbit, as you can see. And 当中这个是什么呀？是一枚铜钱吧？对，这个就是呃，这个名字叫有钱兔。这个叫有钱鼠。Okay, it's really interesting. 寓意就是发财嘛。So this rabbit actually means they are praying for a good. Fortune, because they have a coin inside of it. 太好玩了，谢谢您。杨老师，那我们继续往前看看。Well, actually, there are a lot of different accessories or art crafts during this in this bazaar. 像这样的这种春节的这种集市已经成为了一种常规，是不是？对，现在这种这种文创市集是比较受年轻人喜欢的。呃，像我像我像我我女儿呢，她属于零零后，我也经常去逛这种市集，很有意思。So, it's a kind of a tradition to have such a kind of a Chinese style bazaar during the spring festivals, and also we are seeing this kind of bazaar are attracting younger generations. And now we are actually coming to this side. Oh, so here, Yang 老师，您会教我一个很特别的关于立春的习俗，对吗 ？So here, Mrs. Yang is going to Uh, take us to explore one of、uh, the interesting、uh, customs related to Li Chun,、mm. and it is a special accessory, especially for women. 这是专门给女女士制作的，是不是？呃，这个是在咱们这呃，这个叫叫春帆。好。呃，叫。嗯，这种春帆呢是什么呢？是过去女孩子在那个立春的当天，然后出去玩的时候啊，春游的时候，呃，然后然后戴在头上的。哦、oh, ，Actually, this is for women, especially for ancient women. They were usually, uh, make this called 春帆 or we can call it a silk flag, because 帆 actually means flag. So they were put it on their hair. So、can I have a try? 我能试一下吗？可以可以。好，您能给我们做一个吗？呃，这个春帆吧，它上面还要要写一些字，哦、嗯，就跟春相关的一些字，比如叫那个“人语春移”或者是“移入新春”。OK， 啊，春、so, 光明媚。So one special, the specific thing about Chun Fan is actually we are going to write some words on it. So for example, here it wrote Yi Ru Xin Chun. It means we are embracing the spring, and people are getting better. Everything will getting better as spring is come. 特别好，那您跟我们说一下，我看到它为什么是红色的吗？是一定要红色的丝绸是吗？呃，也不完全是，只要彩色的就可以。啊，但是红色呢，咱们中国人对红色是认为它是比较喜庆。哦、啊。
啊，而且立春呢，它是用红色呢，也是也是这个这个就是希望更吉祥一些。Okay, so the decoration is usually in the color of red or other joyful colors. So that has some auspicious meanings behind it. Okay, so let's get started. 杨老师，我们来吧，您看看怎么做。你你再你再写写点字吧。好啊，好啊。那我们有没有笔？好，我们看一下。Well, I'm get just get ready to have a new decoration on my hair. 来写，我写什么比较好？啊，你写一个什么吧？写一个那个人与春怡。啊，人与春怡，好，我来试一下。嗯。So I'm also going to write my hope for this spring new year. 人与春怡是吧？就是那个雨，嗯，那个那个就是呃，你你你你我那个雨、哦，对，这个吧，对，哎呀 ，it's a little bit hard to write on this silk。春，一就是这个雨，好嘞，哦、oh, ，Oops。I have wrote my wishes. 特别好。还没有，还没有做完。Okay, so not not just the end. All right. 为什么呢？要在这儿呢做一个造型。Oh. Okay. 所以对什么造型，到时候你自己猜啊。All right. So Mrs. Yang is going to let me guess. 做一个造型。对哦，这个呢是咱们那个就是过去古代那个那个那个女性戴在身上的一种的那个呃丝带，是这个造型，是这样的，底带一个金坠儿。这个造型呢是一个什么呢？像一个燕子的尾巴。因为什么呢？一到春天呢，这个燕子就回来了。啊，也都可以绞成这样，也都可以绞成这样，也可以一样一个。Oh, okay. So actually, we have seen different patterns here. So for this one. As you can see, it just represents the tail of a swallow, because during the springtime, swallow will fly back. 特别好玩。呃，过去古代女性还有在那个头上用这个这种丝绸，硬丝绸剪一个春剪一个燕子形状戴在头上。我们能试一下吧？呃，这个，这个需要用硬硬丝绸，大块丝绸来剪。哦，好，没事。这剪不了。那我们就用这个吧。嗯，就这个吧。好。嗯。So Mrs. Yang is going. 这是最后一步了，对吧？啊，最后一步了。Okay, so this is the final step of the Chun Fan, and we are going to take this class. 你有那什么？系系头发的吗？系绳是吗？系绳，我好像没有。<笑>没有哈，那我得给你给你给你别上吧。没事，我们装一装，啊、试一试。然后这个呢，就是系在这个头上以后呢，它会，然后呢，春风一吹，它会随风飘，叫看美人头上袅袅春帆，非常美。So the beauty of it is actually when the wind blows, the 春帆 or the silk flag will just flow and it will be very beautiful. I'm going to have a try. 哎呀 ，Sorry。It's really interesting to experience, you know, how traditional or ancient women are decorated themselves. Actually, we also have seen a lot of accessories around. How do I look? 
没有那个小辫色儿，没有，没事儿。您这儿有小那个小绳儿吗？小绳儿系辫子的，他有时候会借一个。你这个卡子，比如说那那啊那种那种卡子，它不是一圈的卡子。Alright, so my hair is a little bit too much. 或者再再拿一根，拿一个丝带系上。It sounds a little bit hard to make these accessories. Let's see. 没事，我们就简单弄一下就行。对。And we can see there are also a lot of people are actually waiting for uh, the different stall to. Okay, I'm going to have a try. Ha. So while I'm still decorating myself. <laughs> Uh, just give you some uh, like uh, information about uh, this event. So we actually seeing a lot of different, you know, uh, artisans come to this event. So there, some of them are really kind of an inheritor of the intangible cultural heritages, and uh, this kind of bazaar has been held for many times, and they will usually take this occasion to pass on their traditions. And those products are not just, you know, about the old tradition. They're more about to pass on. They are also inject some creativity to it, some innovation to it. So we later we are going to take you to explore some of them. And just like the rabbit, what we just saw, because 2023 is the year of the rabbit. So there are a lot of related products about the rabbit, and it becomes a muse for many decorations. Okay, I'm about to done. How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> 好看吗？ All right, so, okay, it feels really good, and I think it will have a lot of auspicious meanings, so I'm going to carry it on. Okay, Mrs. Yang wanted to take a picture of me. All right. Wow, oh, I really like it. Thank you, Mrs. Yang. Thank you. That our our summer festival will just end here. We'll go to the back. 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 And also, as you can see, we are having a special food here. But we are going to take you to the food section, and we are going to explore more. Yang 老师，我们一起往前走走，顺便也给我们观众介绍一下这里不同的摊位，觉得也特别有意思。好。And also, we receive some comments from our viewers. They say the melody is very gentle, uh, and also spring is here. So I think people are in, really enjoying this special day. Wow! As you can see, what I just said is because 2023 is the year of the rabbit. So there are many uh, special arts related to it. 您好，请问这个是什么工艺呀？这个是版画工艺。So this is a wood crafting work, and this is a very special wood crafting work, isn't it? Yes, it's a wood cut. Wood cut, yes, exactly. And this features the rabbit, and it's a bit like the auspicious meaning, because there are flowers, and yeah, also this is the wood craft here. Are these all your own designs? Yes. These are all designed by him. So that is really interesting. As I just mentioned, there are so many accessories. Here we can see some of them. 你好，我们正好在做一个直播，也想看看。我们看到这是一个簪子，是不是？是的，茉莉。Okay, 这是古时候女人戴的一些特别的形象。Okay, so this is a specific accessory for Chinese ancient women. Uh, it is called clasp, I think, the hair clasp. So they were just put it here and put it. And put it here as some accessories. 特别好，谢谢您，杨老师。您看，就有这么多的这种创新在整个集市当中，会觉得是什么样的感受？呃，是感觉咱们这个传统文化这个这种这种复兴，这个是做的非常好的工作啊。
actually there are uh, uh, so mrs young just said like with these activities holding on they can feel actually it's a uh, revive of our traditional culture we're going to head up to this section okay we're going to sit up here Actually, this is a tea section because, uh, you know, having tea is so popular, it gains so popularity, especially for the youngsters. So this is a special place for them. And we're going to try some of the food. So this is the radish. Uh, uh, oh, so there is a special custom called Yao Chun or Bite the Spring. I think it's called Bite the Spring. So on this only Chun, people will have radish, and every family will usually have their kids to eat it. Why should we eat the Uh,然后,尤其男孩子,然后,容易上火,然后吃了这个萝卜以后呢,他那个会,会一些,会,气会比较顺,然后会把那火,火降下去,是,是萝卜是这个意思。呃,让孩子身体更,更健康。Actually, there are two reasons of of this tradition. One is, uh, what we the, the the radish usually have some special meaning of being stronger or being, uh, you know, optimistic about their life. So, uh, when people having this uh, radish, uh, they are just. Uh, trying to be, I, I really wanted myself to be tough on this new year and to like um, be perseverant uh, and to wait for a whole good year. And also the other meaning of it is related to um, the characteristics because uh, radish can help prevent, usually radish have a very spicy flavor. So it can actually help prevent cold and dizziness diseases. So when people, when usually the kids eat it, they will usually pray for good health for this new year. It's that it contains a lot of vitamin C. Uh, <而且吧>,经过,我觉得立春这块设计的非常好的,什么地方呢?就是你经过了一个,一个,一个春,一个这个冬天,像那个,嗯,像尤其是赶上那个咱们过年,吃的大部分都是都是都是鱼和肉比
，还会有一些那种什么像什么豆什么什么豆沙什么之类的，叫炸一下。而北方这块呢是什么呢？是炒河菜，啊，就是用那个豆芽儿，用用粉条，用韭菜，就是都跟春相关的这种的，叫青口的菜。然后呢，炒完了以后拿春饼，春饼薄薄的春饼，然后一卷。但还是主要是蔬菜。啊，主要还是蔬菜多，对对。So the, apart from these carrots, cutie carrots, there's also uh, another imp important food we call spring pancake or spring roll. It differs from different parts of China. So for the people in the north, they will usually have pa a spring pancake, chun biu. And people in the south will usually have chun juan, which is called spring roll. And the, they have something in common. Uh, they're all wrapped around fresh vegetables, and they, they are fried. So uh, it's a really a springtime. It's really time to just have vegetables, not just meat, but more vegetables that is good, really good for your health. 春天其实还是强调要吃蔬菜，能对身体更好一点，对吧？还吃一种叫什么？叫五辛盘。啊，这些调料是不是？呃，我也不是不是调料，它什么呢？这是葱姜蒜和那个那个那个那芥末，还有那个韭菜。啊，吃这种的，这个这个是属于什么呢？有点有点偏辛辣的。实际上，它这个春天呢还是有寒气的。咱们现在你看，虽然春天立春了，但咱们依然穿着这种这种这种大衣，还是有些那个那种寒的成分在里边。Okay, so there are also some like special spicy food they will have like ginger, uh, like tong. <laughs> but the main the main reason behind it is because you know after whole win winter we just want to use this time or use this food to like dispel the you know the winterness in inside our body and just wanted to pray for good fortune or good health for our our health. 特别好玩，今天我们。探索了特别多关于立春的一些习俗啊，那我们也差不多就可以到这里就呃结束。然后呢，那我 like 呃我们总的来说的话，您觉得像今天这样的一个习俗，让大家能够这么多人去感受立春，呃，对于这种传承这样的文化有什么样的好的意义吗？呃，我觉得是咱们这片土地，呃，这么就是几千年了，然后呢，一直是什么呢？是从是是是农耕文化。是这片土地呢，然后也养活了咱们这个这个这这么多的人口，所以我觉得呢，要是对这个这种这种的，一个是这个祖先的一个一个那个崇拜，他们的这种这种的这种这种精神开拓精神，还有他们这种的呃持之以恒的这种这种的让社会去发展精神，还有一个什么呢？是呃咱们的天文历法、啊，包括咱们这个这个剑旗里边含这种天文历法，还有咱们的这种这种的那个祭祀文化。这个呢，都是咱们应该是不能忘的，同时能够是，呃，是咱们本民族特有的，啊，就说那个，呃，要把它那个什么呢，让它那个更更那个更更发发扬的更更更光大一些。So for the for Li Chun or the start of spring, people usually pass down these traditions to appreciate the wisdom of our ancestors, because. At that time, actually, people don't have so much technology, but they can, you know, observe the patterns, the rules of the changing of the solar terms, to like to guide our agricultural life. So it was really important to show our respect to our nature and to our ancestors. So I'm also going to, at the end of the live stream, I'm also going to share with you a Chinese old saying. It's called 一年之计在于春，是吧？是一句很特别的。念语 It means a, a good year's hard work depends on a good start of spring. So we wish everybody a fresh start in this beautiful season, and we wish you everybody 立春快乐，立春快乐 So that's the end of our live streaming. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye.